Now at 11, a man beaten and tased by police in a use of force encounter that would eventually leave the man dead. Tonight, his family announcing they're filing a lawsuit against the Montclair Police Department. Eyewitness News reporter Amy Powell joining us live now to break down the case. Amy? Mark, that's right. The family is taking legal action against the city of Montclair. They say the police department mishandled what was a call for assistance. Gathering near the front steps of the home where Antonio Imbanez was allegedly beaten and tased by Montclair police, family members hold a vigil and rally in his memory. The 42-year-old was hospitalized on life support for days but did not survive. It was simply a 911 call, a mental wellness check, with ended with ended up in a death sentence. The family announcing the filing of a wrongful death civil rights lawsuit against the city of Montclair and its police department, saying the officers need to be held accountable. Justice for the way he went out with the Montclair police department handling, ambushing him in his own room, it was inhumane and is what I call an injustice. In March, Montclair officers responded to a 911 call at Ibanez's home for a man armed with an object. The caller told police that Ibanez appeared to be under the influence of drugs. Police say the use of force occurred when they tried to detain him. Paramedics administered CPR and transported Ibanez to a hospital. We live in a country where someone who shows the smallest amount of resistance will end up dead, and we live in a country where blue lives matter more than regular lives. Contreras says no one was harmed by Ibanez. It was simply a call for assistance. This could happen to somebody else, and we need to let them know that they're not alone on this as well. Ibanez's family members say they hope to shine a light on similar incidents across the country. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.